Hi everyone, my name is David Russell and I'm teaching this children's yoga class for my cousins Carl, Ada, Lily, Louis and Rua and for any other children that want to join in. So I want you to make sure you have plenty of room to yourself and you can do this on a yoga mat or do this on the floor, whichever is perfect. So you're going to sit up nice and tall here and you're going to relax your shoulders and we're going to do some breathing first. So we're going to start off doing the bunny breaths. So we're going to take three quick sniffs in through our nose and a big breath out through our mouth. So you're going to go. So do it all together. Three quick sniffs in and a long breath out. You can imagine you're smelling lovely flowers. And once more, sniff those flowers. Lovely. So the next breath we're going to do is called a bumblebee breath. So you're going to take a big breath in your nose. And you're going to keep your lips together and home. your bum will be flying around to all the lovely flowers. So we'll do it again, breathe in. And once more. Lovely. So the next spread I'm going to do is my favourite one. It's called a lion's roar. You want to come on to your hands and knees for this. And you're going to take a breath in, you're going to sit back onto your heels and imagine you're lying and you're out in the jungle and you're going to pounce on something. You're going to go, Rah! so you can stick out your tongue, make a big scary face like a lion and do it again. Breathe in, sit back towards your heels, breathe out, Rah! that's in once more, make this the loudest lion's roar. Breathe in, Rah! Very good, some scary lines there. Very good, everyone. We're sitting back down again. And we're going to imagine now with a big, long neck like giraffe. Stick your chin up in the air. And you're going to breathe in. Stick your chin forward. And breathe up. Bring your chin towards your chest. Go back. Breathe in to come forward. Breathe out to go back. Breathe in. And down. You can imagine you're a happy giraffe as you come forward and you're a grumpy giraffe as you go back. Happy and grumpy. Breathing in and breathing out. That's stick your chin forward and chin towards your chest. That's it start to loosen out your neck and your back here. You're happy and you're grumpy. Breathe in and breathe out. And once more forward and back. Sit up tall again. And we're going to bring our hands out with our palms to the floor and we'll start playing the piano. This is piano fingers, so move your hands side to side if you like. And if any play piano, you can imagine you're playing some beautiful piece of music. That's it, side to side the hands, up and down the fingers and tongues. Let's imagine that music is just flowing out beautifully now. That's it. Close those eyes, relax your face. Lovely working those fingers and tongues, those hands side to side. Lovely, you're ready. Stop and just shake out your hands as if they're wet, wet shaking off that water. So again, roll the shoulders and sit tall. Bring the hands out in front, palms facing away from you. And we're going to start washing some windows. You imagine you're holding two sponges with your hands and you're going to make big circles now with your hands, washing windows. Have any washed windows for your parents before? You can try this later on if you like. Washing windows around the house. And imagine those windows are up a little higher. That's it. There's windows out to the sides now. Start washing them with your hands out to the sides and windows down low on the ground. There's windows everywhere. Get them all clean. Imagine they're so clean you can see your own reflection. 
and you can roll your shoulders down, hands out in front and go the other way now. With those hands making big circles again. That's maybe your arms are getting tired, it's okay. And go out to the sides again, you're ready. That's it, get those arms working out to the sides, making big circles. And down low again, wash those windows and shake out your hands and shake out your arms as if you're shaking off that water. Lovely, sit tall again. From here, you're going to bring your hands to hold one leg. And we're going to go into the tumble dryer, turn it on, and press the button. And you're going to go around, shh, and around, shh, and around, shh, and around. You can close your eyes and imagine you're inside in the tumble dryer. And you're getting all dried up with all the clothes. You're all fresh. All the clothes are smelling lovely. So you'll be fresh and smelling lovely after this. That's it, shh. Shh, going around, shh, and around, shh, and around. I hope you're not getting dizzy now. That's it. If you are, you can stop and take a break. So when you're ready, I'll stop the tumble dryer, sit tall again, I'll turn it on, and go the other way. Shh, 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 shh. That's it, round, shh, and around, shh, and around, shh. And around, lovely, and we stop it again. Sit up nice and tall, bring both arms out to the sides. And imagine your arms are like wings, now, like the wings of a bird. You're gonna flap them up and down. So you can imagine you're your favorite bird. My favorite bird is a crow, and a crow goes, caca, caca, up and down, caca, that's it. You can imagine you're an eagle if you like. Or imagine you're a pigeon, they're my second favourite bird. That's it, get those arms going up and down, that's it. Flying through the sky, love it, that's it. And when your arms are getting tired now, when you're ready, just shake out the arms, shake out your hands, let go of that tiredness. So again, bring your arms out to the sides, and this time, your arms are the wings of an airplane. You can imagine you're flying now up high in the sky, up in all the clouds. You can close your eyes if you like. And imagine you're flying to your favourite place. My favourite place to fly to is Valley Preen. But you can fly wherever you like. That's to get those arms going up a little higher. That's you fly through the air. That's it up. Past the clouds, you're up so high. That's it, lovely. You're flying and flying. And when you're ready, we're going to land back down and shake out those arms again. So from here, when you're ready, we're going to stretch both our legs out. And you can give your legs a little shake if they're a little tight, a little tired, shake them out. Now you're going to straighten your legs as much as you can. Point your toes up towards the ceiling. Roll the shoulders down. Take a big breath in. Reach up to the ceiling. Breathe out. See, can you fall down to touch your toes if you can? But don't worry if you can't. Breathe in to go up. Breathe out to go down. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's see how far down you can go. And you might feel you're stretching your back here. You're stretching your hamstrings at the backs of your thighs. And you're stretching your calf muscles. This is very good if you do a lot of running or if you play sports. That's it. Once more, breathe in. Come up and breathe out this time. Bring your hands to your legs or to your feet or toes, wherever you can hold. Take a breath into your belly. A big breath in, and as you breathe out, see can you fall down a little further. You can give a little pull to the hands as you breathe out. And see can you bring your chest down towards your thighs, or maybe even your head towards your knees. And don't worry if you can't. I can't bring my head down to my knees, but that's okay. I'm still feeling a good stretch here. A big breath in, and out. That's it, up and down. And that's it, when you're ready, come back up, sit back up. 
You're going to bend both knees, bring both feet together. You can bring your hands and your feet and interlock your fingers. Sit tall with your shoulders relaxed. And we're going to start moving our legs up and down. And this is called butterfly. As if your legs or wings, you're flapping them up and down. That's it, breathing in and breathing out. You can close your eyes if you like and imagine your butterfly flying around toward the lovely flowers. You're out in the sunshine. It's a beautiful day out to be a butterfly. Going around all the lovely flowers, out in the fresh air. Now when you're ready, you can stop. We're going to turn into a caterpillar. Take a breath in, grow tall, as you breathe out, you're going to go down and a caterpillar, you might know, goes into a cocoon. So you're going to go down with your head and chest towards your feet and down into your cocoon. You can close your eyes if you like. And you can rock side to side. Go for a little snooze in your cocoon. That's nice and relaxed here. And when you're ready, take a big breath in. You're going to turn into a butterfly again. Get those arms, get those legs going up and down this time. That's your flying around again. That's it. So when you're ready, we're going to bring the knees together. You're going to come on your hands and your knees. And we're going to do our cow and our cat pose. So you're going to take a breath in. And you're going to lift your chin, you're going to arch your back, and this is your cow pose. What does a cow say? Moo! As you breathe out, bring your chin towards your chest, round your spine. This is your cat pose. What does a cat say? Meow! And again, breathe in. You're going to come up into your cow. Moo! And breathe out into your cat. And once more, breathe in, and breathe out. And you're going to come back now, bring your head mind your shoulders, you're going to tuck your sit bones, try and keep your lower back straight, engage your tummy muscles, your core muscles. And we're going to do our Superman, you're going to breathe in, lift your right arm, your left leg, and go do 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 and back down. You're going to breathe in again, lift your left arm lightly. Do do do. Breathe out, back down. Keep going if you can. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. And you're flying through the sky. Feel that strength here. Like Superman. Do do do. Do do do. That's it. And once more, either side. Do 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 do. And back down. So from here, you're going to curl your toes under, take a breath in, as you breathe out, you're going to push into your hands, lift your knees and look back at your feet, you're going to start walking your heels up and down on the mat. So this is your downward dog, you're going to start walking the dog here. That's it, keep going if you can, keep up with your knees off the mat, push into your hands, your arms are straight. And get those heels going up now. And what does the dog say? Roof, 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 roof. <laughs> the dog is happy now. He's out for a walk. <laughs> so when you're ready, try and stay up. Stop walking your heels. Put, take a breath into your belly. And breathe out. Push into your hands. Try and get a lovely stretch of those legs now. Can you bring your heels even towards the mat? That's get a lovely stretch your back. And the legs here. And if you can, you're going to do your three legged dog. Lift one leg up, breathe in, stretch it away, breathe out, back down. Breathe in, lift the other leg up, breathe out, back down. That's it, breathe in, and out, up, and down. That's it, try and point those toes away if you can. That's it. And when you're ready, come back down. We come on to the knees here. And take a big breath in. Reach the ceiling. And as you breathe out, sit back towards the heels. Can you bring your hands just behind you? Another breath in and breathe out. Maybe you can go down onto the forearms and the elbows. Don't worry if you can't. Maybe you can go your head. Only go back as much as you can. You can stretch 
those arms behind. And the dog is taking a lovely break here. You can nearly fall asleep here, it's so comfortable. And if you get stuck here, you can give a shout to someone beside you for a hand up. So when you're ready, you're going to come back up. Keep your core strong, push into your hands. And for the older people, that is probably a bit difficult, but that's good for you. So, tuck your toes under, breathe in, you're going to come up with the knees off the mat, keep the heels up, and you're going to try and keep the heels off the mat now. And take another breath in, push into the feet. Can you come up tall now? You really feel your legs working. If your heels go onto the mat, that's okay. Try and keep them up. Reach your ceiling. You can look at a point in front of you or look up towards the ceiling. You can even bring the hands together and you can walk like a ballerina on your toes. Imagine you're a ballerina. You can even do a little twirl if you like. Dainty feet on the mat here. That's it. Why you fall or hit in time? Do your little twirl like a ballerina. Love your back, sit in another little twirl. And when you're ready, we're going to come back down onto the heels. So we're going to come into the middle of the mat. Bring your hands, your hips, the feet together. And you're going to hop your feet out wide. And you're going to turn one foot in, and you're going to turn the other foot straight ahead. Bend that knee, try and keep it over your ankle. So your knee is more solid over your ankle. Bring your weight back down through the back leg. Feel that strength in the leg. This is warrior two. You're going to get those arms strong and go roar like a warrior. And you're going to bring the arms out to the sides. You're going to look, turn your head, look forward. Push into your feet now. Take a breath into your belly. And grow tall. And breathe out, push into the feet, reach those hands in front and behind. Breathe in, grow tall, breathe out, push into the feet, reach the hands, feel that strength in your arms and legs. And bring a big smile to your face, you're a happy warrior here. Take another breath in, you're going to lean back, you're going to reach your front hand up to the ceiling. Get a lovely stretch up here. And breathe out, bring the arms down, line the shoulders. Breathe in, straighten the front knee. Breathe out, reach the front hand forward, lean forward. Now front hand, go onto the front leg and foot. Bring the other hand to the ceiling. Push into both feet and take another breath in. See if you turn your head to look up towards that hand above you. This is your triangle pose, really push into your feet for support. That's really stretching the side of the body. Breathe out now, bring the arms and the shoulders come back up, arms out wide, turn that front foot in, that other foot straight ahead, get the knee over the ankle, shift your weight back down that back leg, it's strong now. And again, get those arms strong, Roar. Arms out wide, look forward, breathe in, grow taller, Breathe out, reach the hand in front and behind. Breathing in, grow tall. Breathe out, reach in front and behind. And bring a big smile to your face. You're a happy, strong warrior. And breathe in, you're ready. Reach that front hand up to the ceiling, lean back. Feel that lovely stretch here. Push into your feet for that support. Breathe out, arms and like the shoulders, straighten the front knee. Breathe in, grow tall. Breathe out, reach and lean forward. Bring that hand down onto the leg or the foot again. Other hand to the ceiling, push into the feet. Breathe in, can you turn your head to look up towards the hand in your triangle pose? Bring that smile to your face. And when you're ready, you want to come back down, exhale. Come back up, that's it. You're going to turn that foot forward, turn both feet out now. Get the feet wide. And you're going to roll the shoulders down, bring the hands out in front. Interlock the fingers here. And you're going to breathe in. You're going to bring your arms up. We're going to chop some wood. Breathe out, chop down. 
Breathe in, come on. Breathe out, chop. Breathe in and chop down. Up and down. Breathe in, chop. That's it, up and down. Breathing in and down. Lovely ones for all. And when you're ready, you're going to let go now of your hands. You're going to start picking up the wood you chopped. So you imagine there's a basket here and you're going to start putting the wood into your basket. That's it, pick it up. There's loads of wood around you on the floor. Put it into the basket, that's it. Pick it up now, that's it. And when you're ready now, you're going to stand up tall, bend your knees, and you're going to sit lower, keep your back as straight as you can. You're going to go down now and see, can you lift that basket wood up? Get really strong with your arms, and can anyone put the basket of wood onto their head? And you're going to try and walk with the basket of wood. Mind, don't drop it now, let's see, try and stay tall. Your back is straight, you can turn, and walk to the side and turn and walk the other way. That's I don't know where we're going with this basket of wood, but you're gonna walk with it. That's it. And when you're ready, you're gonna stop, you're going to lift the basket up, and you're going to bend your knees, bring it back down, put it onto the floor, and we're going backwards to your mat or back to your space again. So from here, get the feet wide. Take a big breath in. And breathe out, fold down. How far down can you go? Bring the hands to the floor. Can you even bring the head, the top of the head, onto the floor? And just breathe here. In and out. That's it. When you're ready, you can bend your knees if you need to here. If your hamstrings are tight, and when you're ready, engage your core, engage your abdomen, your tummy, and you're going to come back up. Breathe in with your hands, your hips, and from here, can you hop your feet back in? So that's a bit of a workout now, so we're going to be feeling that a little. So, we're going to do tree pose. Some of you might know this pose. Tree pose is a very famous pose in yoga. So we'll try it. So we're chopping wood, we're going to do our tree pose now. You're going to put all your weight into your right foot. And I want you first as well to look at a point in front of you, either on the wall or on the floor in front of you, and that's going to be your focal point. It's also called a dristi. That's going to help with your balance. So keep looking at that point. Put all your weight into your right foot. Breathe in, lift the left leg up. You're going to bring that left hand down. Can you hold the foot on the outside and lift that knee and try and bring the sole of your left foot, if you can, on the fleshy part of your right thigh, above the knee, and try to open out the leg to the side. If that's hard to do, you bring the sole of that left foot on the inside of that right calf. If you have socks on, take them off because you just slip with the socks on. Or if you have shorts, you can lift them up a little. And I'm going to go here, so keep your focus. And that's to turn open out the legs. Stand tall, core strong. Hands to prayer. Tones to your heart center. Look at your point. And you're going to breathe in. You're going to grow big branches up into the sky. Imagine your big, tall oak tree now. And you're standing tall and strong. And know that the wind might blow, you can sway in the breeze a little, but you're standing tall, you're standing strong. That's when you're ready, breathe out, hands down, drop the foot down. So walk the feet out, just releasing that. And we're gonna do a tree pose on the other side. So again, focus on your point, your dristy. You're gonna put all your weight into your left foot, push down into the foot. Imagine you're growing roots into the ground that left foot. You're going to bend the right knee, lift the foot up, hold the foot down to the outside of your right hand. 
and lift that leg. You're going to bring the sole of your right foot, if you can, again, above your knee on the fleshy part of your left thigh, or if you need to, below the knee, on the inside of that left calf. So whatever's most comfortable. You're going to stand tall and you're ready. Bring the hands to prayer. Tones your heart center. Looking at your point. And when you're ready, take a breath in. Grow those big branches up into the sky. A little sway there is okay. Try and keep that balance. Looking at that point. A big smile on your face. You're a happy tree here. And that's it. When you're ready, breathe out, back down. Just lift the heels up now and release that. We're going to sit down in the front of the mat. Or if you're just on the floor, just make sure you have room behind you. Because we we're going to roll back here in a little while. So get both feet in the mat, knees bent. Sit tall. Bring your hands to both feet. You can hold the toes. Breathe in again. Grow tall now. Engage your core. As you breathe out, sit back a little. Can you push? your feet into your hands here and try and straighten your legs look at your point again your dristy for your balance engage the core that's it if you roll back that's okay but if you can stay sitting up here that's it and in your own time make sure you have room behind you you're going to roll back and you can hold your toes and stretch those legs up towards the ceiling. It's your happy baby. You can rock like a happy baby on your mat or on the floor. Bring a little smile to your face to relax your body. Stretch those legs. And when you're ready, in your own time, let go of the feet. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And do a little leg roll on the mat, side to side. You can close your eyes if you like. Let your back release into the mat. Breathe in, hang out side to side. And when you're ready now, we're just going to lie back. You can let your legs onto the floor, let your feet rest out. Roll your shoulders down, arms by your sides, hands to the ceiling. And this is called Shavasana, it's a relaxation pose. And just notice the weight of your body on the mat. And notice your breath in and out. You can notice your abdomen, your belly rise and fall. And just let your whole body release and relax. And if you like, you can even imagine you're lying on a towel out on the beach. And it's a beautiful sunny day. Feel the warmth of the sun on your face and skin. And imagine you can hear the sound of the ocean, of the waves coming in and out again. As you breathe in and out. And you're safe, you're secure, you're at peace here, all is well. You haven't a care in the world. You're feeling, you're getting more relaxed as you're lying here on the beach. Feel that lovely warmth in your body. And if you like, you can imagine that your towel your mat is like a magic carpet and you're going to float up into the sky that you're becoming lighter and lighter like a feather you're going to float up into the sky and you can go up as high as you like into the clouds imagine you're fl floating up with all the birds in the sky you can see the beach below you can see the ocean below you and you're safe, you're secure, and you're floating along. Imagine you can see all the houses and even people below. They look so small. Even the cars are so small below. And all the fields and the trees look small. And any animals in the fields look really small now. 
as you float along up in the sky. And you can imagine you're floating over your own house. And you give a little wave. You can imagine your parents are out, maybe your brothers or sisters or people you know, any of your family are there. Give a little wave to them. That's a look really small blow. You can imagine you're floating over your own school. And it looks really small. You can even see the schoolyard. It looks small. And all the different houses. And wherever you live, imagine you're floating over all the houses there and all the people there. And when you're ready now, you're going to float back slowly and slowly back towards the beach again. Over all the houses, the fields, the cars, the roads and all the animals below. And you're coming back, down and down, back down onto the beach, onto your town. And then you can feel the weight of your body again on the floor. And when you're ready, bend both knees in, hug them towards you. You can do a little egg roll side to side. And you're going to just roll onto one side and give yourself a little hug. You bring the arms around you. Bring your knees up towards you. And just imagine you're all tucked up here in bed. You're under the blankets. You're all cosy and warm. You're so safe. So secure. And know that you're loved. You're loved by your family. Your friends. And think of all the people who love you. And know that you are so lucky to have these people who love you in your life. You were blessed to be you and you deserve to be loved because of who you are. You are so lucky. You are so blessed to be you. Be so thankful for who you are and for all the people who love you in your life. So before we all fall asleep, we're going to sit back up again. You can cross your shins at your ankles. Bring your hands to prayer, thumbs to your heart, centre to the middle of your chest. You can close your eyes. And you can say silent thanks for all that your body allows you to do here today. And say thanks for who you are. Know that you're a wonderful person and that the world is lucky to have you here. You are loved, you are safe, you are blessed to be you. And you can take a little bow when you're ready and say Namaste. And that's a special yoga word to say thank you. And thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.